Coming up, you'll discover seven, seven of our favorite tools to use when trying to get clients featured by Apple. And the day we're recording this, one of our clients is featured right now. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you come and you go when you want action-packed content in the app business because we share the best strategies that you will find anywhere on the interwebs. People talk about the 101s. We talk about the 201s, all right? So we've had 10 of our clients featured by Apple. This is number 10. Fingers crossed we're in the works for number 11. And we're extremely proud of this fact. We launch about two to three apps a month, sometimes five, it can get kind of crazy, but about two to three apps a month. And we're approaching Apple about this at that particular rate. So you can get an understanding of how many apps actually get featured by Apple. I would say our percentages are probably around 15 to 20%. And if it's a really good one, and I feel it in my gut that it has a good chance, we, we tend to get it featured by Apple. But again, it's very, very hard. Okay, I don't want you thinking that, hey, I'm gonna use these tools and then we're gonna get featured. It's very, very hard. And for those who comment whenever I post about how many apps we got featured, stop, right? Stop asking me how many app launches. Look, it's hard, right? And so we just are happy that one makes it through. Now it's 10 that have made it through. So we're very happy about that fact. But again, it's hard. So I appreciate the comments, but look, man, let me just celebrate the wins. If you don't like me and you don't wanna hear about it, just unfollow. All right, cool. So let's get started into some of the tools. Here's the client that's being featured right now, actually. And we're very proud of this because the client, and this is what you get when you work with us, came to us through a referral and I was super excited to work with them. And when I looked at the icon, I said, hey, I think we need to change this icon because your graphics are amazing. And unfortunately, the icon that you currently have doesn't do it justice. So we ran a couple of tests. I gave some suggestions on what I thought the icon should be. This icon that you see is actually pulled from a graphic within the app on the main screen. So I'm really proud of that fact and the fact that we were able to modify some things and help them with ASO and obviously with an Apple feature as well. So I'm super pumped. Again, we got another one hopefully in the works too. All right, let's get into some of the tools. The first one that I want to highlight is actually from Apple itself. It's the developer resources. Now, Apple is intent is to always make Apple look good and be use, useful to the customers. So they really care about Apple and they really care about the customers. Those are the two people, probably in the reverse order, customers first and then Apple, but who knows? Again, what you want to highlight here, why I'm pointing this out is Apple loves featuring apps that are using its latest and greatest technology. So really keep up to date with what's going on in the app store and try to incorporate some of the technology that they're coming out, new technology that they're coming out with in your app. And the time of this recording is around WWDC timeframe. So really pay attention to the new features, the iOS features that they're announcing, because that means they're making a big push for it. Last year was iMessage and you can see there's a lot of iMessage apps being featured in the app store. And this year, who knows what it's gonna be. Along those lines, number two, is go to WWDC. I went last year, it's very expensive, all right? So know that, but it was a great experience. I met with all the different app store managers and the hack that I would provide for you is if you're going, just line up all the workshops with app store managers or anybody from the app store team because you never know what can happen, right? So I just lined up a whole bunch. Anybody that had a workshop that worked in the app store, I just wanted to meet with them and just talk. I think you get about 15, 20 minutes with the app store managers and there's just a bunch of tables. So it's a really cool experience. I actually presented a client's app last year and I said, hey, what do you guys think? And they gave me some suggestions. They really liked the game and we ended up getting that app featured by Apple late last year. So really cool and really great experience too. The other tool, now let's get into some of the more, the tools that we like to use that's non-Apple specific is the first one's banana tag. I've been raving about this tool. I'm a paid user, just FYI. I'm not associated with them. But when you're pitching Apple and you're, you know, I'm sure you've heard some of the strategies that we said, we shared, but when you're pitching Apple via email, you wanna make sure you track the emails. The one thing, is, and here's an important reason, 
is you want to make sure that they're actually opening it, right? If you have no idea if they're opening or not, then how are you going to know whether you should follow up with a different subject line or not? And one of the clients that we're hoping to get featured right now, he sent an email. He said, Hey Steve, I, you know, I don't know. I didn't get to track it. And I really like the guy. We hit it off really well. So I ended up sending the email on his behalf too, with a different subject line tracking it. And I saw an open and guess what happened a couple of days later, Apple reached out to him and said, Hey, we're thinking about featuring your app. Give us some artwork. So that's the key, right? You want to make sure that they are actually seeing the app and you can try different subject lines and one subject line I use and I particularly like, we sent that through app store promotion at apple.com and we got it open and Apple followed up too. Okay. The other th next tool is LinkedIn. Now, if you want to get aggressive, you can do this. I actually don't recommend doing this anymore because I feel like that was 2016. This is a strategy I shared in 2016, I, th I believe. But if you still want to get aggressive with it, somebody messaged me on Facebook today and said, Hey, that strategy you shared about finding someone on LinkedIn actually works. I've had two of my apps featured by Apple. So here's the strategy that I'm going to share. Okay. You go into LinkedIn, look up app store manager, just search for it. And then you can filter by companies with Apple. And you can either friend them if you want to get aggressive or guess their email address and email them. So you can see there's a bunch of people that handle app store promotion at apple.com. Okay. I mean, sorry, that handle different categories for Apple, right? You got Mark here. Sorry, Mark, <laughs> who handles games. Just try to find the right person for your particular category and reach out to them. And if you're international and not us, then reach out to somebody in your own country. I actually prefer to do that because I'm sure the US is bombarded with a ton of emails where I feel like the other countries are probably not as bombarded with the emails. Okay. Now on top of this strategy, the next strategy and the next tool I like to use is Instagram. So you found somebody that you want to pitch to on Apple or even cold with anywhere else. One of my favorite strategies to really build rapport is use Instagram. So look through, this is my Instagram account, but look through the person you're trying to target their Instagram account. And what I like to do is go through some of the older ones to show, to look through and see what I can do. And one of the things I've done in the past is actually pitched a couple of different people just with an email subject line that is referencing an Instagram post. So it really builds rapport and it shows that you've done a little bit of research and you're not just blasting. I get a ton of cold emails and I, frankly, if even it was specifically to me, I can't tell if it was specifically to me or not. So really do a little bit of homework. The thing that I would do here. So like maybe here, Oh, what's the survivor thing? And then, you know, I put in, Hey, application submitted. I submitted an application to survivor because I want to get on survivor. So if you cold email me, you could be like, Hey Steve, you know, I'm a big fan of survivor too, or hope you, your application gets accepted, blah, blah, blah. Right. You want to make that quick little intro. So if you're pitching the app store manager, you can use that as your first line and then go straight into your pitch because it makes the person feel warm. Like, Oh, this guy actually did a little bit of research on me. And I've been able to get a lot of responses from reporters, from anybody that I'm right, trying to reach cold by just doing a little bit of research beforehand. All right. The last couple of tools that I will recommend aren't particularly tools, but I think they're very important to mention. Number one is persistence. It's really hard to get an app store featured. And one of the things I told a past client of mine is he thought, Hey, should I try to self publish this or should I try to look for a publisher? And I said, you know what, this is not the last game you're going to create. So why don't you just self publish it? Right. For games, you, this is not the last game you're going to create to you game developers. So just keep at it, right? You're going to figure it out. And I recall my interviews with the color switch creator, David, Matthew Hall of Crossy Road. And they were just talking about, you know, how they continually just kept creating games because that's just what they love to do. And finally, you know, they hit it big. And what most people don't, don't know is David, he shared this at our Vegas event. He's been creating tons of games, right? And just hadn't found one that finally hit it. And then when you look at Color Switch, it's like, oh, this is like years and multiple games, you know, like 60 games developed. Till he finally hit on one. So really be persistent about it. I think it's anything in business. Like if you're not talented to be a game developer, 
don't be I'm, I, I came to terms with it. I love games, but I can't create a good game. So really know yourself, be self-aware, but be persistent too. The last thing is publishers. <laughs> I know I mentioned like you can probably self-publish yourself, but look at mobile game publishers and I'm showing you a blog post I wrote and I'm gonna link it up into the notes at the bottom too if you're watching this on YouTube. The, and I'm gonna be completely transparent. I had a client who, I've had a couple of clients actually, who we try to publish the game. We, we try to you know get it featured by Apple. We hit submit, we try to launch the game. Apple just was not paying attention. I feel like I have a couple more strategies right now that actually worked and that I think helped this client get featured by Apple. So some new strategies that I've implemented that will help clients get featured by Apple. And I have those in place and I wish I had them in place because they were both really good games and we didn't get featured by Apple. And they both went to different publishers who had relationships with Apple and they both ended up getting featured by Apple. So I'm not the holy grail of Apple features. If you have a game, look reaching out to mobile game publishers and really building that relationship with them and having them publish the game will probably likely get you featured, especially if they have a good relationship with Apple and their past apps have been featured by Apple. So look at that. I do have a few more strategies that I feel like are really helping clients get noticed by Apple and subsequently featured, but we didn't have it at the time. So game publishers really do help with that as well. So link that into the show notes as all the top game publishers and the contact information. So if you want to reach out to them, you can do so using this particular blog post. All right, that's it. We're up to 700 subscribers. So after our, after my last plea, <laughs> I said, Hey, please subscribe. I want to look cool for my wife. I want to hit a thousand soon. I think we got a bunch more like 30 or 40. So I'm going to ask you again, please subscribe. I want to look cool for my wife. I mean, a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I think is somewhat respectable. I don't know. I just talk about apps. Who knows? I just been doing this for a while. So I'd love to get there. She she's digging the new hair, but I think a thousand subscribers on YouTube would really push her over and be like, yeah, this guy's a stud. I'm glad I married him. We've been together for a really long time. So, you know, anything helps. <laughs> Let's keep it fresh for her. All right, guys, hope that helps. If you got featured by Apple using any of these strategies, please let me know. I know a few people have, they just don't tell me. And sometimes they do message me on Facebook like they just did today and saying, look, I used your strategy to get two of my apps featured by Apple. So congrats to you if you do. I just want to say congrats, really cool. And then maybe share your email with my wife. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.